Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the U.S. But here's the thing, it is highly treatable when caught early. However, one out of three eligible Americans do not get the recommended screening due to their belief that it's unpleasant or inconvenient, which it is. But today, we explore a more pleasant option that is saving lives. I went for just a routine medical exam. He said, hey, you haven't had a colonoscopy in a long time. I think you're due for one. I said, well, I just do not, you know, if that's okay with you. And he said, well, uh, here, I'm gonna give you some blood tests and I'll get back to you. Many people are like John, reluctant to do an invasive and time-consuming procedure. But with the help of the SHIELD blood test, you may not have to be. My doctor told me about SHIELD and recommended it as a simple blood test. This test, no one refuses it. Say, I'll just draw blood, it'll take two minutes. Get results in a couple of weeks, usually. And if it's negative, they're good. And if it's positive, then we can talk about the colonoscopy. A couple of days later, he called, he goes, hey, I do not like the results of your blood tests. I followed through, got the colonoscopy. It turns out I had stage two cancer colon cancer. SHIELD is a game-changing blood test recently approved by the FDA for colorectal cancer screening. It's already covered by Medicare, which gives millions of Americans easier access than ever before. Having caught the cancer in an early stage certainly prolonged my life. I enjoy skiing, I play golf. I don't know that I would still be here doing all that had I not taken the SHIELD blood test. Joining me now is Dr. Sam Asgarian, VP of Clinical Development from Gardent Health, the makers of the SHIELD blood test. Welcome, I Thank appreciate you. you being here. Appreciate and it. I appreciate this test. Thank you. Uh, so who is this for? The test is uh, basically for anyone who's eligible for colorectal cancer screening. So uh, Americans 45 to um, you know, 84 years old that are at average risk. So really nothing other than just their age that gets them screened. People shouldn't get colorectal cancer in this age. I humbly believe that. We have great screening tests, but people don't do them. That's right. So this blood test will be a way of helping those people get screened? Exactly, so to your point, one out of three Americans who are eligible are not getting screened. Yeah. 53,000 people died from colon cancer it's last year. It's ridiculous. 75% of them, to your point, were not screened or were delayed in their screening. So the goal is exactly that, to offer this simpler option, a blood test versus more invasive tests or more inconvenient tests, um, to get people screened that need to be. Now, as people get, particularly women, get into their 80s, there is some risk of colonoscopy. So can I keep doing the blood test People are going to live into their 90s these days. I'd like to screen them a little bit as they get into their late 80s. Absolutely, right? Yeah. So this is the conversation for the physician to have, right? To your point, there's the label component that yeah. says, A, hey, up to this age. Yeah. Um, as long as the test is negative and the conversations are being had and the patient, as you know, doesn't have signs or symptoms, yeah. they can continue to get the blood test. What sets Garden Health apart? It's this, right, the data and the ability to use new emerging technologies. We can keep expanding these products, not just in colon cancers we've been talking about, but other indications as well. How are patient outcomes generally, particularly compared to other things? When you find colon cancer early, it's stage one, it's a 91% survival rate. So, so let's spell that out. So you can detect that early with this test, yes. any stage? Absolutely, okay. right? So we, we go all the way from stage one to stage four. And as you know, stage four, the, the drops all the way down to basically around 14 to 16%, right? So this is one where you really wanna be able to have someone screened, catch it early before those signs and symptoms developed, and then be able to treat it and have them enjoy a long quality of life. So it, generally, it will, it will tell us who needs a colonoscopy now. You probably first thing would be the colonoscopy for everybody, right? If, if you have positive tests. If you have positive tests, yeah. it, it reflexes to your point to yeah. a diagnostic colonoscopy, yeah. so, which is great because it could be treating and visualizing and confirming as well. We've used over 10 years of research and development to get the FDA approval for the SHIELD test, to get this available for Medicare beneficiaries out of the gate. Um, we'll work for broader coverage and access, which again, as you know, this is a very diverse population that needs this type of technology. And we'll be able to then look at other diseases and their signals and be able to pick them up in the future. And that's no doubt underway. Absolutely, yeah. yes. I'm here, you see, you guys are part of the personalized healthcare revolution, right? Which is for people who don't understand that, that each cancer in each patient is sort of a, its own unique disease in, in certain ways. But Correct. there are certain things that are in common you can screen for. Exactly, and so the technology at Garden Health has always been focused on exactly that type of personalized medicine yeah. where you're treating that specific tumor, not just a 
colon cancer tumor. Yeah. And here we're working to d detect those tumors, again, at those earlier stages when you can treat them. Really interesting. Well, thank you, Sam, for joining us. And for more information, visit shieldcancerscreen.com. That's shieldcancerscreen.com. And of course, early detection can be the difference between life and death. Take action, talk to your physician today. No reason not to be screened. And do not go away. We have some great guests coming up next. Be right with you.